morning you guys what's up what's up what's up Woo! welcome back to your girl's channel if you are new here what's up welcome welcome i would love for you to be a part of the jaybird fam i call my subscribers jaybirds all you gotta do is give the video a thumbs up subscribe and then ring the bell so you don't want to miss when i do upload another video and if you are already a part of the jaybird fam then you guys already know the drill Welcome back to another vlog. What it do, what the business is. Happy Saturday! The girl's alive and she as well. What's up y'all? What it do, what it do, what the business is. All right, I feel great actually. I'm, I'm trying to like push through this headache I have. I have a little slight headache, a little slight headache. And I think it comes from sinuses. Like this morning, Sean was like rubbing my sinuses and loosening it up. But I was getting like a stuffy nose when I was sleeping. I was just getting a headache while I was asleep. So I felt it. Um, anyway, um, I need to eat something. Me and baby girl both do. So we're getting ready to treat ourselves to Starbucks because we have worked out so good this week. We did five days in a row and we're gonna more than likely get a little workout in today. Even if it's not like a strenuous workout, we're gonna at least maybe go for like a family walk at some point today or something like that. So originally we were gonna go to the B-E-A-C-H, but um, Sean has some um, landscaping jobs to do this morning, which he took Kaden to do. He's trying to teach Kaden how to do stuff so that way you know, Kaden will always be able to make money. Like when you know how to use your hands, you can never go wrong, never go wrong. So like Sean works full time and then also he has his side business. So he's teaching Kaden so that Kaden can know, like, you know, when you have a talent in something or you know how to do something other than just clock into someone else's company, then you'll always have money for yourself. So yeah doing that they're out together and so me and baby girl are out together so we're getting ready to oh wait i'm in the wrong lane Woo! we're getting ready to first stop and get starbucks and then um I'm trying to think what we're gonna do after that oh and then we're gonna go to what rain calls the blue store y'all can probably assume what that store is walmart she calls it the blue store so we're gonna go there and um i think i'm gonna get a few totes from there and yeah I think that's it i was thinking about maybe going back to um tj maxx as well but i'm just like mm, do i want to wait for the fellas you want to go to walmart yeah. okay but we're gonna get some breakfast first okay oh okay you don't even like eggs right she be requesting eggs she don't even like eggs y'all you want a small egg? Yeah, and there's a McKinney egg. And what else you want with the egg, baby? A banana side. A banana? No, an egg on the side. An egg on the side? Mm -hmm. A banana side. Okay. Alright, so I'll figure out what she's going to eat. Um, I think what I'm going to do is probably get like a Starbucks drink and then... Um, I was thinking maybe just to go ahead and get my sandwich or if I was gonna go right across the parking lot to go to Duncan and get my avocado toast. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I know that sandwich is hefty, a little hefty in calories, but I know I also haven't eaten anything yet and we're probably not gonna eat again until like this afternoon. So I'm just like, hmm. What are we gonna do? Because even if I go to Dunkin', when I get the avocado toast and the smack and bacon, it's gonna end up being the same thing anyway, same amount of calories. So, yeah, I probably would get what I always get from Starbucks. The um, sandwich, the impossible sandwich, just so good, y'all. I love it. Like, if you don't eat meat, go ahead and try that out. If you have not, I really enjoy it, it's good. Um, I used to get their spinach feta wrap, but for some reason, they start they started acting like they ain't had no sriracha, and I don't like it without the sriracha. It's just plain. So I'm just like, how you don't have sriracha? And I just got sick of them always saying we didn't have any sriracha. So I was like, you know what? Let me move on to a different sandwich. At this point in time, matter of fact, I think they got rid of that sandwich, which is crazy. I'm like, why would y'all get rid of that? 
it was really good so or am i thinking of another i don't know y'all whatever whatever the rap was we used to get all the time with the sriracha sauce they don't have it anymore um yeah so we don't really have too much on the agenda this weekend we're taking it real easy yep i'm gonna try to get these raggedy nails off they are holding on it's always a couple that just hold on strong like dang i hate when my fingers look like this all crazy but i really want my um my fingers to breathe because one of my nails um like split in the middle and so when it's growing out it's growing out with like an air pocket so i need that air pocket to grow all the way up so i really just need to get my nails a little break a couple weeks which would be perfect because when i do um go i can uh get up with my nail tech for her to do my nails so it ain't never ever ever a short line at starbucks but one thing i can say at least they do move fast but it's always a line like it's crazy let me turn like look at this go ahead get okay, right here <sighs> but yeah we got some um trips planned i think we're gonna do um a trip with my sister and her family we're gonna all try to get together and get the kids together around the holidays that's gonna be a really fun trip for all of us so i'm actually in charge of putting that one together so i need to get on the roll with that because we need to pick our dates and stuff like that still using my um sinking funds i just haven't done it on um camera to show y'all because i just feel like i want to start it fresh in the new year so, um, but if you're new here, I've been giving myself like a certain allowance um, for different categories and whatever I don't spend rolls over into the next week. So I feel like when I do it this way, I'm seeing more of my money and where my money is going. But yeah, so I find out whenever I'm using cash, I'm more um, conscious of where my money is going, what I'm purchasing, whereas when I'm out with my debit card or credit cards, I'm just swipe, swipe, swipe. And I'll be looking up like, what? How I spent $500 today? You know what I'm saying? So it's just a really good alternative if you really want to get a hold of your funds. And plus, we have some really, like, huge things that we're working towards. So um, I want to be able to see my money. Okay, right. But yeah, y'all. That's it. Hopefully, I can get this. And then I can take two Tylenols. My headache isn't as um, prevalent as it was. But it's still very much so letting me know. <sighs> plus, uh, plus the Women's Week is coming up soon. So you already know how that goes to. So shout out to my mom and my stepdad. Happy anniversary weekend. Their anniversary was, um, <coughs> excuse me, their anniversary, <coughs> girl, their anniversary was on the 22nd. <coughs> I don't remember how many years it's been since they've been married. I think they got married in, I want to say 2007 or 2006, I think, but they've been together since I was like eight and a half, so. We're gonna go ahead and ride out with the 30 years. 30 years. That's how I look at it. I'm like, a marriage certificate don't mean nothing. If y'all been together all that long, happy anniversary. Happy 30th anniversary. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? 31, because I'm 39. I low key be forgetting how old I am. This is good. I'm gonna try to drink the whole thing, because normally I know. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I do that. I, I, I never ever drink my whole drink at Starbucks, except if I get like a refresher. I'm gonna try to see um, what like fall, Halloween festivities they have going on for the kids. I'm gonna see. They come and get on like event, right? I don't know. I definitely want to do something. Maybe I'll take them skating. Okay, the, the, the problem is Kaden don't don't need to be doing nothing fun because he don't he don't be behaving this way. And I'm sticking to that. And I don't care what nobody guys say. Like, 
If you're not going to be here to raise them, don't put your input in. Mm -mm. I don't like it. Nothing. Mm -mm. No opinion. People stay having opinions and then didn't do a damn good job at raising their own. I want to tell somebody else what's going on in their house. Like, what? You didn't get yours together. You didn't get yours together. Because if you did, I wouldn't be raising him alone. Which I'm not raising him alone, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like, Sean's not his biological father. So I'm thankful for Sean because he basically took Kate in there. He calls him his son and everything. But if you did what you were supposed to do, or you so good at, at being a mom, why you ain't get it right? One thing about me, one thing about me, y'all, uh, don't get me wrong, like, I have my weight, you know? Everybody do. Am I perfect? Far from perfect, don't claim to be. Definitely have my ways, my flaws, and all of that. I have things I could work on, things I could do better. You know, I haven't been, I haven't been, always been the best friend, best girlfriend, best mom, best daughter, best sister, best whatever. If you had a uh, some type of relationship with me, I haven't always been the best at whatever title I play in, in people's lives, whatever. Okay. Everybody. That's everybody. And I don't claim to be perfect. I don't try to be either. But one thing I'm going to always be is real. And some people might disagree with that. But if anybody would have come to me and asked me anything, I don't have a problem with letting you know the truth. Whether... It's embarrassing to me or not, whether it's gonna hurt your feelings or not, whether it's gonna bring up feelings in me or not. You know what I'm saying? We're going right. Now, if you about to sit here and ask me a whole bunch of stuff that just is none of your business for the sake of you just being nosy, then that's my, my prerogative to share it or not. You know what I'm saying? But at that point in time, I'm basically saying, I don't have nothing to hide to nobody. So anybody can always come to me and be like, hey. And I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. My block game is strong and it's only going to get stronger because energy transfers and it's very, 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 very important who you allow in your space, who you share energy with, you know, energy transfers. They don't have to be in your physical realm, like they don't have to be right with you at that moment. It transfers over the phone messages whatever you know and the more you can block out negativity bad energy you know what I'm saying disingenuous people and all of that the more peaceful your life will be and that's the level that I'm on so because of that reason my block game is very strong. Mommy, I see the blue store. Yes, baby. Very, very strong. Like, don't call my phone almost 10 o'clock at night and then fake asking how people are doing when you really could care less. You know what I'm saying? You're calling with one motive and one motive. And that's it. One motive. And and when I tell you, like, oh, this is how he's behaving in school, whatever, whatever, you don't give any type of like, oh, well, I'm going to talk to him about his behavior. It's never been like a consequence. It's never been, um, oh, well, that's not good. It's always back on me. It's always back on me. Always since I had a little boy. So block, block. That's where you'll stay. And, I, and I'm good with that. Because you're not going to call my phone dragging your negative energy up around here. Like, no, you're not. No, you are not. 
So yeah, I'm real big on that. Go ahead on. I'm real big on that. Like I'm I'm big on that. I don't have to answer my phone. I don't have to engage. I don't have to do none of the above. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you're not giving me good vibrations, then then cut. I cannot. I can't. I just cannot. And life is peaceful, I ain't gonna lie. It has been peaceful. The little bit of ruckus that try to go on, people try to shake you up, especially when you're like happy living life and they see it with their fake profiles snooping around, watching you, watching the vlogs, watching your stories with their little fake profiles and all of that. And then every time they see you having a good time or planning on something or whatever, they want to pop up and use like little control tactics to try to like interrupt that. Never, ever will it. Never will it. It never will. Because the intentions aren't pure and they aren't good. So let me just, I just want to get across. That's when I get across. I want y'all to stop walking or make y'all way so I can get where I'm going. I don't think we're going to go in here yet, baby. It's way too many people in here. I can't be bothered. I cannot. I don't like people these days. All right, so I was wondering, like, okay, let me just ride my gas out. So I got like two miles to empty, which I did. I think I had yeah, one mile to empty. And I was curious to see what it cost to fill up. Y'all, I filled up for 53.23. Okay, that's a big difference from. Um, Girl, that's a big difference from what it what was it like 78 something like that? 76. Oh, so that feels good to go back to like some type of normalcy. I mean, it's still not what it used to be, but it's never gonna go back to what it was. But I'm long, I'm as long as it's not you know costing the whole arm and leg just to fill up. So I'm filled up. That should last for a little bit because I don't think we really doing too much this weekend so that should definitely get me through probably like the next week and a half depending on if we end up doing anything or not for the most part i don't think we will though i think we'll be good um yeah so i feel like i'm being productive today my headache is gone thank gosh i'm thankful for that thank you goodness thank you jesus i'm gonna say Thank God for that. Cause I do not like when I wake up with a headache. Sean can't stand it either. Cause he be like, oh my God, there goes the day. Like when I don't feel this, especially when I get my headache. It's really my headaches that get me down. Like I get a lot of headaches. Even my coworker, she was like, you get a lot of headaches. I'm like, I do. And I said, it's my sleep apnea on top of my low iron and you know, everything else cycling and all that. So I always get headaches. But I've always suffered from headaches, even from when I was young. My headache started around like nine. Caden gets a lot of headaches, so he probably picks that up from me. And then I took so many, like a leave in high school because that's what worked good for me, that I gave myself three bleeding ulcers, which is not what's up. And my stomach was always hurting. And finally I went and got an endoscopy done. And they, went, they took pictures and everything and showed me the three bleeding ulcers in my stomach from all the daggone leave I used to take because I used to get headaches all the time. Ooh, high school was worse. It was so bad. Ooh, it was so bad. All right, y'all. Ooh, man, it's got the shower. I'm in my pajamas and I'm staying this way. <sighs> we might go out to eat, but I don't know yet. But anyway, I picked up two more of these um, shoebox containers, so it's four in total. Y'all already know a little. I think I pretty much saw everything I was picking up. Um, these, I got two of those. So check out the bomb deal, though. Thirty dollars, nine dollars. What? These are super fly. So I got those for the new house. And then, I got two gray tiles. I think instead of just doing um all white, I'm gonna do gray and white tiles. So I'm about to pop the tags off of them and wash them. And then, um, that's 
closet that I can show y'all. The bucket box, the box, the mop and bucket is downstairs already in the garage, but y'all saw that. And then I got this cute lamp, y'all. It's the aesthetics for me. Even though I don't got no aesthetics going on, this is just super cute. So I got this. They had it in black and cream. And I'm almost tempted to go back and get the black one. Not necessarily for this office, but for when we move. So I don't know yet. I might I might go back and get it. But only $12. And I want to say this was, was this on clearance? No, this wasn't on clearance. And y'all know Target is good for having stuff places and they don't really be $12. So now I'm wondering if it really is. But anyway, it's a cute little lamp. It's so cute. <sighs> but yeah, that's it. The rest of the stuff I can't show y'all because it's for the kids. Ooh. And Kaden be watching the vlogs. Oh, but yeah, y'all, that's it. I'm going to just chill out, try to edit another vlog for you guys, look for some more music. Hope you guys are enjoying the new tunes. Oh, hopefully y'all are enjoying the new tunes. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start editing, and I will hit y'all back a little later. I want the car. Oh, sure. <laughs> So, did you help clean up? No. Here, Dyson and the and my son and clean them up. And then Dyson and pick all the toys. My son and put my and my eyes. Oh. <laughs> well, you just helped out everybody. I got Not repeating the customer.